we now know what the difference is between an average rate of change and an instantaneous rate of change. If we revisit the sketch from, uh, from the previous uh, lesson, you have this P and Q, two points that we have, and that um, obviously are going to give us an average rate of change for this function on the interval PQ. What if you take a, an interval that goes through P, but it's smaller? A new Q, and so forth. So you're going to go the smallest interval you can imagine, and so forth. So you can go as close you get this Q, getting closer and closer to P. This is one thing that you can do. The closer you get to P, and the smaller this interval is, the closer that estimation is going to be to the instantaneous rate of change in that point P. If we consider the uh, x coordinate for P to be A and uh, this interval, the length of the interval between the two points on the x axis to be H, the x coordinate for Q is A plus H right because it was a plus the distance between the two points so let's consider this function to be y equal f of x at x equal a so the coordinates of this point p is going to be a and f of a while the coordinates of point Q, which was here, are going to be A plus H and F of A plus H. Right? These are the coordinates of Q. Well, what would be the distance from here to here? Let's say here. The distance is what? If here we have f of a, this is f of a plus h. So it's going to be f of a plus h minus f of a. Makes sense, right? Well, this is h. So the first thing that we wanted to estimate is the average rate of change on this interval from a to a plus h slope of a secant m we know it was rise over run right all days well let's actually see what is the rise is the y value which is this what is the run is this h or a plus h minus a which is h so basically we can put this slope of the secant as we can write it down as f of a plus h minus f of a everything over h provided that h is different than 0 and we call this the difference quotient okay this is our difference quotient so we finally ended up with a formula this difference quotient an algebraic formula that it's gonna help us determine an average rate of change on an interval as you can see here simply by using the uh, old uh, very well known formula for the slope of a line which is rise over run by taking into consideration the coordinates of these two points and the distance between them and that distance between them the h interval it's crucial because not only we determine the average rate of change for this function on that interval but based on that 
we can actually evaluate an instantaneous rate of change and this is really what is new to this course of calculus we determine an instantaneous uh, rate of change by give by using this difference quotient and giving numeric values to age such as 0 0.1 0 0.01 0 0.001 and so forth so smaller and smaller values so we approximate so the result of this difference quotient is going to give us an approximation to that instantaneous rate of change because remember when this interval h approaches zero well the slope of this line is going to get closer and closer to the slope of the tangent to that point p so the smaller this h interval is the closer this result is going to be to the instantaneous rate of change at this point p this is the most important thing that we've learned in this uh, lesson. I'm going to finish uh, this lesson here, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thanks for watching.